computational imaging group, my group at Washington University, is a very dynamic, focused group on uh, integration of AI, imaging, and also traditional signal processing. So the unique aspects of our work is that we do fundamental contributions to the theoretical understanding of AI, theoretical understanding of uh, signal processing, but then we always end up using the theoretical developments that we do to real applications. So what do I mean by real applications? The algorithms we do end up being used for development of new MRI systems, for the development of new computerized tomography systems. In fact, we have all these collaborations where our technology gets used by practitioners and we get tested, uh, test them out in real time and get feedback about how they work. So this brings an exciting opportunity for students to come in, develop their skills, computational skills, theoretical skills, but then end up using and seeing the real impact of that work in the real world. So basically, generally, my research about, is about computational imaging, deep learning, and image processing. For example, if a new MRI device or if a new acquisition model for chemical reaction comes out, probably there are not enough data for us to be able to train artificial neural networks. So uh, we, we kind of need to address this problem to be able to enjoy the performance that a uh, neural network gives us or artificial in intelligence provides us, but at the same time solve the problem of not having enough data. So my research specifically address that issues that uh, is it possible to kind of use similar data to experimental or real data out there, uh, but still be able to get the good performance and uh, to be able to have enough Im information so that our, collaborator our collaborators in medical school or chemical department could use those for their analysis. My research area is actually trying to combine biophysical model with deep learning technology together, trying to improve the imaging quality of different imaging systems and trying to improve the imaging efficiency at the same time. Actually, uh, what really surprised me at the first year, I will say the research resource I can get from Washington. Uh, let me give you an example. So, one of my projects is actually collaborate our medical school professor Hong Yu and he's, she's working on MRI devices and we developed a system trying to accelerate a 10 minutes long scan to one minute scan. And after we develop our algorithm, we're trying to collect some data to test our performance. And we reach out to her, she just willing to give us an opportunity to lie in the machine by ourselves and collect our own brain data. Using our own data to test our own model, that really surprised me. And that's, actually I would say, have the, one of the coolest things I can imagine. At the Department of Electrical and Systems Engineering, we look at PhD students who are not afraid to tackle big societal problems by looking into fundamental theoretical and methodological aspects of electrical engineering. We work on the problems that go across several areas from social sciences, from uh, medical systems and beyond. So the students that come in, they should be comfortable both at looking at theory, but also crossing out to discipline. And electrical engineering gives us opportunities through collaborations to students to really find the research direction where they feel they can excel by developing their own skills in ESE, but also applying and learning about other areas of impact where those, that research can have impact.